Okay, sorry about that. We got cut off and there's a five minute limit, five minute limit to videos. So we'll get through the next part um, in this video. Um, so again, like I was saying, your goals, it does track your goals and that's kind of what you're graded on um, if you're meeting those goals and things like that. So make sure that you are paying attention to what they're wanting us to you know, see from you, what they're expecting you to kind of do for this um, social media marketing um, position that you're gonna be working on. So those are all the things that you're provided for your scenario. Over here on the left-hand side, you can see scenario. You can always get back to it you know, and click around and get that information. Um, you're always going to receive a weekly memo from your CMO as well, kind of telling you what they're looking for that particular week. Um, and then you can, once you kind of have a good grasp on this and understand what you need to do, you can get to posting. So when you go to post, um, you'll see that you have up here at the top, you have what you've spent so far this round and then the amount that you have remaining. You can choose what platform you're going to be posted on. So let's say that I want to post something to Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to click on Facebook. If I click on Twitter, you can see I get um, different items to where I'm going to post. I can post to a few different networks at the same time. Um, we're going to not do that. I'll explain to you why in your direction sheet that I'll be sharing. So all you're going to do is, oop, okay, sorry. All you're going to do is, um, let's say that I was doing one to, uh, to Facebook right now. So I'm going to say post on Facebook. Yes. Promote. Yes. Create new audience or use the same audience. I haven't created any audiences yet. Um, and if I'm doing a promoted post, I do have to have it going toward um, a specific audience. So I need to create that audience. So I'm going to click on create new audience and I'm going to click OK. Um, and I'm going to click my age ranges. So I can kind of choose here. I'm going to say um, 18 to 36. OK, and I could choose choose. Um, all genders or just men and women, I could write in their interest. I could say maybe hiking, um, biking, you know, whatever, whatever their interests are. Again, this is where I was telling you to kind of pay special attention to your customers. You have your customer profiles set up that give you the interest that they have. So if you're trying to reach that customer, use some of those interests and plug them in here. Budget, how much you're going to spend on this particular post. I might just say I'm going to spend you know, $20 on this particular post. Save this audience. I can save this if I know I'm going to want to keep coming back to this audience. Um, I can save it. Then I don't have to you know, redo it. If I click save, they're going to ask me to give it a name. Click done. And now it's scheduled going to a particular audience. I can choose when this post is going to go out. I can click here, click the date, click the time. When I want this post to go out, I can also select the picture. You can see that we have pictures here that some are free, some you will have to pay for. Um, you have different pictures that you can select. Advertisements, pictures, videos, um, infographics, memes, holiday advertisements, holiday images. So, you know, use whatever you think best goes along with whatever you're trying to talk about, whatever you're post, you know, is dealing with. Maybe you're doing some sort of sale. Um, then I type in, you know, right here, whatever my content is, we'll just leave it at whole, hello world. I'd click schedule, then it would show down below in my pending posts. Now, as far as how many posts you have to do, things like that, um, I will outline all of that in your direction sheets. I just want to give you a visual here of what you're going to need to do. Once you have all of your pending posts for that particular round, you're going to then click run simulation. And what that's going to do is it's going to run your simulation. It's going to tell you your ROI, your return on your investment. It's going to kind of grade you and stack you up against other members in your class. Um, You'll notice that each round, where this is round one of six, um, for the odd number rounds is when you're actually doing your posting, then the even number rounds is when you're kind of analyzing how you did that past round. So round one, you'll actually do your postings. Round two, you'll go and analyze how you did in round one. Round three, you'll do more postings. Round four, you'll go and analyze how you did in that particular round. And then we keep going from there. So this kind of gives you a visual of how it all works. Please let me know as you're going through if you have any questions. Um, I'd be happy to answer them. Use the group chat in order to communicate with others if you're stuck on something. And I will share the document of everything that you need to know as far as what your criteria is um, for this particular simulation. Talk to you soon.